Hey guys, today I'm thrilled to go over an exciting blender tool called the Medieval City Generator. The Medieval City Generator is a geometry node generator that you can use to dynamically make and customize cities for both night and daytime. And it all works by using a couple of sliders and values that you can play around with. For starters, inside this blender file, you can find all the assets neatly organized into collections for different structures like trees, bridges, and even scattering assets. From the get-go, you will notice that the medieval assets are lightweight and optimized, which I think is a great thing, making it possible to scatter many instances of them and introducing the possibilities of making large-scale cities without sacrificing your performance, especially knowing a lot of us have only mid-range or average PCs. So this is gonna be great. The way I like to use this generator is by simply adding it as an asset library. This way, you'll be able to access the assets if you want to use them individually, as well as the geometry node setup, which is what you'll be mainly using. Another way to use this generator is to simply copy and paste the already made curve that comes with the Blender file and you'll be ready to go. After doing so, all you have to do now is open up a new Blender file and add any type of curve to your scene. Just make sure to apply the scale, go to your asset browser, and simply drag and drop the generator on top of your curve. I should also tell you that your curves can be manually adjusted at any time, either by extruding or moving your control points. And you can even use the draw tool to manually draw cities and pathways. All right. So after you finalize your curves, you are ready to dive into customization and you can do so by going to the modifier panel where you will see all the adjustable parameters that you will ever need. And when I say everything, I mean starting from the option to include or exclude buildings, which leaves you with trees that can also be disabled. In addition, you can choose to add them at the center of your path or just have them cover the outer areas of the path. You also get a couple of settings to adjust their seed and density and even change the offset to get a result that you are satisfied with. Back to buildings, as you may have seen, when you open the generator's blend file, there are a lots of assets for different purposes as I mentioned earlier. You don't have to worry about getting the same building model scattered over and over again. And I should reassure you that the generator will scatter multiple assets for elements like wells, cathedrals, churches, gates, houses, watermill towers, and so much more. And for the building section, you will get a couple of handy settings for adjusting their random rotation and rotation seed, as well as the building spacing if they happen to intersect with each other. Also, you can choose to have two rows of buildings by checking the double row setting, but you can also offset its distance however you like. Next, let's take a look at the walkway feature which adds a tiled ground to your city space. You can adjust its width and normal offset to suit your performance and the specific look you are aiming for. Finally, you have the option to add lanterns of your cityscape. You can adjust their spacing and offset to control their placement and distribution throughout the scene. This addition allows you to use the generator for night scenes as well, adding versatility to its capabilities. And what I like about this tool is that you can toggle and switch between limitless possibilities using the random seed values for buildings and trees. On a side note, please keep in mind that the creator made this generator for the purpose of making large-scale environments and cities, which look amazing from a distance, meaning that using this generator for making close-up shots is not the best idea. With well, that being said, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.